Go. It's George, and I'm back again, and I'm here to show the experts about water and meteorites. You put it in the water. Wow, look at that. Now, how do I know this? Because I found this one in water. The fusion crust is all wore down. The rough part, it's soft, it's glossy. The fusion crust acts like a protection layer for the meteorites when they're in water. And I'm not talking about salt water. I'm talking about crick water. Same with this one. Look at it. Look at it. Now we'll put it in there. We'll put it in the water. Pull it out. Look at that. Look at the gloss on that. That is fusion crust, but it's wore down and it's wore down from being in the water and the water running over it for several years. Same with this one. Look at that. Okay. It don't look, it don't look very pretty, but you put it in here. Okay, and you pull it out. Look at how black that is. But some of these are really, really beautiful when you pull them out. And they're, and they're first wet. They look like this when you pull them out. When they dry, they don't look glossy like that. But the fusion crust on a, the fusion crust on the outside, when it's been in the crick water for a long time, it becomes like this. And this is all I'm going to have to say about this. I shouldn't have to be explaining myself over and over and over again. And people are saying this and that and this and that. Well, I'm telling you, a lot of what you say, meteorites need to be this and that, have this and that, isn't true. And that's all I'm going to say in this one.